Now we come to the ultraviolet rays. You should keep that in mind that we are gradually going up the frequency scale, right? So we are going down the down the wavelength scale. <coughs> and I'd like, like to draw your attention towards E is equal to H nu. So as you are going up and up and up, what is happening? What is happening is you are actually getting the lights with increased energy. So as your frequency goes up, the energy contained in that goes up. Per, this is per, per photon, correct? Per photon energy goes up. Here, here in the visible range, you must have seen that the lowest is red, okay? And the highest is violet. Fine. So, and then... It is indigo and then it is blue and then it is green, then it is yellow and orange and red. You see, this is how they are arranged frequency wise, Vibhya. Okay, and the highest frequency amongst the visible ray is, is that of, is, is that of? The highest frequency range amongst the visible is that of violet. Okay. So that's why you call ultraviolet above the violet. That means that means you're calling it above the frequency of the violet and infrared is below the frequency of the red. So we get that point below the frequency of the red. So so what happens? So what happens is 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 these are produced by produced by very hot bodies very hot bodies like like sun okay so sun is is a huge source of of this or some special lamps or some special <coughs> lamps. So, do they need to be heated up to the lamps? Uh, mm, you know, um, these lamps are used um, since the world is going mad. So, these lamps are mostly used for indoor tanning. Okay? So, they produce the same effect as the sunlight. And so you, you be in front of them and you get tanned. So the people who are fair, the white skinned, they are trying to become darker. Lighter. And the darker, they are trying to become Lighter. fairer. Fine. And it is this madness that, that has made this popular. Okay. Now, as we said, since we are going up, the, the energy carried by one photon is, is becoming higher. So these can be dangerous. Okay. So, so UV <coughs> from the sun can cause skin cancer. Can cause skin cancer. But is fortunately, but is fortunately absorbed by the ozone layer in the upper reaches of the atmosphere. Ozone layer in upper reaches of atmosphere. Okay. Now, 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 so, okay, also, hmm? about 50 kilometers. Upper reaches is a valid, valid application of the word, don't worry. <clears throat> 
<coughs> upper reaches also also this uv causes more production of of melanin and hence causes tanning of the skin of the skin okay it causes tanning of the skin and and that is what these special lamps are used for okay hmm However, there is a, there is an interesting thing. They are absorbed by absorbed by normal glass. So if you are, if you are sitting inside a glass glass window, and sunlight is coming onto your skin, you rest assured you'll not get tanned. Okay, because even <coughs> even an ordinary glass normal glass absorbs the the uv and you'll have some some goggles advertising that they are able to absorb the uv it is a plain crap Pure glass. that's what <laughs> so there is nothing special about the glass any glass can do that okay so saying that rays are banned by certain oh, uh, glasses that is that is a big hoax okay so, 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 uh, uh, but, but people keep on getting fed on these craps and, and we keep on shelling out huge sums to protect your eyes, right? So, so any normal glass uh, absorbs it. Uh, so, so if you want an UV shield, then you just sit beside the glass, okay? Just sit, sit inside the, the glass, okay? Now, 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 what happens? The welding arcs, the welding arcs produce a huge amount of UV, produce a huge amount of UV and hence has to be protected and hence has to be protected by by glass by welders right apart from very very toxic fumes <coughs> also the also the the it, it affects your eyes so so if there is a welding going on and ev then even from far off you don't look at it actually the the norms say that any welding that you're doing should not be visible to the general public. But at least in our country, these things are actually on paper and no one bothers to care for that. Because if, if a passing public suddenly looks at that glare, then there is every possibility that the eyes can get damaged. Okay, the retina gets damaged by the UV rays. So the helmet that they wear is just the glass, so not any special. Just two thick glasses, Yeah, very dark glass. No, no, no. The trouble is the intensity of the arc is so much that it has to be cut. So they, these are two very darkened glasses. So, so much so that even if you look at the sun, it, it looks like moon in the afternoon. Okay, but that does not mean you start seeing it because even if some of it comes into your eyes, then, then it's dangerous. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. So, so what happens as we said E is equal to H nu, the high energy in the, in the UV rays is able to, is able to kill germs in water. in water and and you must have heard of the uv filters and no that is that is meant to kill the germs even after 
after micro filtration you are not able to kill the germs right or nor are you able to filter it so you have to somehow kill it before you drink the water so so this is what is attained by that also high energy these are high energy waves these are high energy waves which when concentrated in small areas concentrated in small area can cut the skin okay can cut the skin cut or burn and is cutting by burning and and is used to and is used to and is used in precision operations like lasik laser lasik laser okay so so it it stands for for laser assisted 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 in c2 okay in c2 kerato kerato my liuses at the place okay and if you see the cut by this laser you'll be amazed even while cutting what happens you are you, you drag a part of the skin okay so in eye surgery you just cannot afford to do that okay so so there the cut that if you see the micro the microscopic view of the cut skin you'll be amazed how cleanly it is cut by the lasik laser and how how botched up a thing it is even by the sharpest of the instruments that you that you make the cut with okay so it helps in eye surgery this this is lasik laser is eye surgery right doesn't ultraviolet in eye no 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 they are actually uh, conditioned like that okay and and the dose is so much that it is used in so many places the lasik the green lasers they are used to to weld the weld if there is a tear in your retina then it is used to weld it so so a small part of it goes burns your retina slightly and and things grow around it and so so it gets back so retinal detachment is treated by green lasers okay this is lasik laser this is different okay now now uh, the <coughs> though we are protected by ozone here right what happens Th there are cfcs so cfcs what are they chlorofluorocarbons right chlorofluorocarbons carbons are are damaging your ozone right and hence the need for need for for protection against the ozone layer depletion comes into play correct so and where are these cfcs used they are in refrigerants right so so cfcs are used in refrigerants refrigerants and aerosols aerosols okay the canisters where where it is pressurized pressurized so that the moment you press it as in deodorants the the liquid comes out so that aerosol the that gas which does that has got cfc so we are now trying to replace it with hfcs hfcs okay that is hydrofluorocarbon 
fine